Hey guys, it's Fiona and welcome to a very different and new video. Today I am starting my craft series which I have been hoping to start for quite a while. Basically I want to do some more crafty artsy things. So this is the art books and craft series. I don't know how often this will go up but I wanted to do this. So I thought I would start with this because I have been planning this one for a while. So as you can see here I have a copy of Roller Girl by Victoria Jameson and as you can see some of the pages have fallen out. This is not me pulling the pages out, this book was actually returned to where I used to work before Christmas and I didn't like the idea of it just going in the bin and you know just not being loved so as it was already badly bound and falling apart I decided to include it in my crafting series. So here we are. I am gonna make some crafty stuff for you and mostly I will just interject with little bits and pieces so I hope you enjoy this video and let me know what you think at the end. So yes I am cutting up the pages because I am gonna make some cute little collagey things. So here I am cutting up the images that I find interesting and the ones that make me laugh or just that I think are really cute. And also while I was making this video I actually ended up reading most of the book and thought it was adorable as well. So you know there's other perks to this type of video. I get to read some more. So the first thing I'm gonna collage on is a little star that I picked up from a local art store in Manchester and I have some Mod Podge. I really wish I had not bought the matte Mod Podge. I think it would have been a lot better with the glossy. As this was my first time doing collage type things in a long time, I think I actually ended up using way too much glue the first time round on the star or Mod Podge so it made it quite difficult to work with but you'll see later in the video I try a slightly different approach to applying it and to how I put the pieces on. I didn't like the way it looked white around the edges so I decided to break out some pens and see if I could make the sides look better. So I first off tried with the Echoline brush pen. That didn't quite cover the Mod Podge the way it should have done. I tried the Pigma BB which is basically like a bullet nib pen. That was a bit better so I used that for a little while. I then tried using my Pentel brush pen which has like super nice ink. I mean, it's not cheap, but you know, it does the job. Then I moved on to the second thing I was going to do in this video, which is the exclamation mark. So I actually ended up using my Pro Marker to colour this. As you can see, I tried to do it before the Mod Podge coat and realised it would not go on anywhere near as well. So I Mod Podged it up first and then I tried again. As you can see here, it goes on so much darker, so much better and just generally using the alcohol based marker gave me the best results. Although I do wish I had sprayed the whole thing with this silver spray paint that I have because at the very end of the video it suddenly goes from being 
all black on the very bottom bit to being all silver, which I did with a pen. Um, but I wish I'd just spray paint the whole thing silver, but that's kind of what I want to learn from doing these videos. I had a lot of fun making this video and a lot of respect for crafters who make videos regularly because they are very time consuming, very time consuming. I did go around the images and add slightly thicker black borders to them. This was just because I felt on the exclamation mark that it lost some of the details that the star didn't lose so much, if that makes sense. So I quickly went around and did that. I didn't let it dry long enough before I put the last coat of Mod Podge on, so it did smudge, but actually I kind of like it, so I'm not mad. I think with something like this, because the images are such different sizes, that maybe doing something slightly larger in the future would work better. I would really like to do some more because obviously I've still got over half the book worth of images left that I would like to do something with but I really enjoyed making this and I think it turned out really well in the end. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you want to see more of this series please let me know and that is the end of this video and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!